Welcome to the first webisode of Mind Over Money, Trading Ideas from Profitable Traders. Today's key idea is no setup, no trade. Basically, whenever we're in a trade, we use some sort of a strategy. For example, we use a Bollinger Band strategy to go long or short, or we use support and resistances, or the MACDs, or the RSI, various other technical indicators. The important thing is that every technical indicator actually gives you an opportunity to go long or short. And when it's giving you an opportunity to go long or short, what that means is it's giving you a signal. And that signal is called the trading setup. If you don't have a trading setup, you should not trade. What happens with most amateur traders is that they land up taking trades when there are no setups, even though they've decided that this is what I will do, but when the actual trading opportunity comes up, they don't take the trade or they land up taking a trade immaturely. Let me give you an example. In this particular case, we're using the S&P index. It's the hourly bar and we're using the Bollinger Bands. And as most of you are probably aware, the Bollinger Band strategy is a deviation strategy and the price is hitting the lower band. That's the time when the signal or the setup is to go long. And when the price hits the upper band, the signal or the setup is to go short. In this case, we have now been given a setup to go long because as you can see, the price has hit the lower bar. If I went long here, at this point, I start noticing that I am in a profit and as expected, the price starts moving towards the upper end of the bar. Now, you can take a profit at the average line, which some people do. Let's say we did take that profit. Classically, the price is expected to move towards the upper bar which means that's the next setup. But if we were to be impatient and take a trade, say somewhere here, now you see a red bar, and at this point in time, what you're seeing is that the price has moved up quite a lot, there's a chance that now the price, people will book profits, price will fall down, and this is a great time to go short. But is it really a good time to go short? Well, no, as per your Bollinger strategy, the next trade is only if the price was to hit the upper band. Has the price hit the upper band? No. Well, did you get greedy and take a short? Let's say we did. In this case, the price starts moving as expected towards the upper band. And you've hit your stop loss, you've made a loss, um, maybe it's your day loss or a trading loss, and then you squirm in the stomach looking at the price actually move towards the upper band. This now is the setup that you should have patiently waited for. So let's say now you do take the trade as per that setup to go short because the price has hit the upper band and let's observe what happens. You are now in a profit and the price moves again towards the lower band, cuts the lower band, which is a great time to book a profit, also creating a setup again for the next long. That if you did that over here in this case, you'd land up waiting patiently for your strategy to actually play out. And over the next couple of bars, as you can observe, because you went long on a setup that's at the lower end of the bar, you've hit the upper end and as a result made a profit. Now that's the most important thing to follow. Patiently waiting for your setups. If it was the Bollinger Band, you need to wait for the price to hit the upper band. You need to wait patiently for the price to hit the lower band. If it's support resistance, you need to wait till the price touches the support levels or the resistance levels. Anything done in between those models will land up mostly losing money. So, as I said, no setup, no trade. Until the next time, happy trading.